We're along the fence line of the Rockcliffe Airport, and it is extremely bright out here because of the snow and the sun, so bear with me. Right next to where we are is the Canadian Aviation Museum to give you an idea of where we are. So here, around quarter to 11 this morning, there's a small single prop aircraft that is taking off on the runway. It is lying there in the snow. You can see it from here, about 150 meters from the fence. It was only about 100 meters from the end of the runway when the pilot, it seems, hit a snowbank and flipped the plane. It was a student pilot that was attempting to do what we call a soft field takeoff. Uh, unfortunately, he lost directional control while he was taking off. And before he uh, realized or before he was able to correct, the airplane uh, drifted over into the snowbank. And when he hit the snowbank, it flipped over on its back. Now, according to firefighters, he was able to get out of the plane himself. He suffered a minor head injury. We believe that he is left in an ambulance. There certainly was a paramedic unit here as well as an SUV they left. I'd say about 10 minutes ago, so they weren't here very long. Now all that remains on the scene is a single fire truck. I'm told that they are to remain here until they get the plane flipped back over on its right side again, just for safety's sake to make sure there's no explosions or leaks of that kind of thing. At the Rockcliffe Airport, Doug Hempstead for Sun News.